G'day guys, Rowan here, and on today's episode of MR Triton, we are going to fix my power problems. Let's get stuck into it. Now, first things first, I just want to say, the videos have slowed down because I have been bloody busy with my personal life. Landscaping, my dog nearly died, the missus and I have just had COVID. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in my life at the moment, so things have slowed down a bit. But as the weather warms up, as I get a few things off the plate, I'll be able to make more content. We're gonna pick up, try to get weekly or you know fortnightly videos. So thank you for your patience. Let's get stuck into the video. So as you may recall, I made a video recently talking about how putting on these bigger wheels made my Triton gutless. Now gutless, did it really make my Triton gutless? It still had some guts. What we're talking about was rolling resistance, a bit of turbo lag in a vehicle that, you know, is a pretty heavy vehicle. We've got a few modifications on it. And so it's heavier than it was from the factory. Now, as I'm a pretty conservative kind of guy, I don't know about pretty, but conservative, I have gone down the route of a throttle controller and obviously Ultimate 9, which is a pretty reputable brand. Well known throughout the industry, they make good products, they work really well. This isn't a sponsored video, I just went and bought these. I could have probably chased them up and tried to get something out of them, but I like to buy things myself because it gives me an opportunity, it gets rid of that obligation to say things that are nice about a product that may not be the best. Here's our throttle controller box. Let's get in there and start the installation. Now this part is gonna be pretty difficult to show you because we've got this cover in the way, we've got to reach right up in there. But essentially the process is disconnecting the accelerator from the wiring because this is a modern vehicle, therefore drive by wire. There's no accelerator cable anymore. We're then going to plug in this adapter. These two larger sections connect to the existing cable. One connects into the accelerator pedal, one connects into the cable going to the computers, etc. This little piece here comes off in the middle somewhere, and this connects to our throttle controller unit. Okay. So here we can see that the accelerator has been unplugged. Now in with the adapter. Now we actually have the controller itself. Here she is, little unit. And what we need to do is plug this into the adapter. I'm gonna mount this onto the dash. It's got double-sided tape on the rear, so obviously, depending on where you wanna set this up, you're gonna to have to stick it on, so make sure you're not gonna you know, pull this off eventually and do damage. So be very selective in where you wanna put it. So I'm thinking about where to put this throttle controller. I'm thinking somewhere, like running the cable out through this gap, which I think most people do, and sort of maybe sitting it somewhere here where I can you know, have access to it. My only concern about that is I might bump it when I'm off-roading because it's sort of, you know, where the steering wheel is. But um, looks like a good enough spot to me. All right, so we're gonna plug in the controller to the adapter. Cool, and we're gonna feed this back through into the dash here. Got all kinds of wires getting around there for my spotties, throttle controller, my UHF all kinds of things and this will sit somewhere like that so we'll remove the tape i hate this stuff there we go i'm going to put it right there like so now one of the cool things that ultimate 9 offer with these throttle controllers is little faces here i like that kind of that sandy torp look not Cruiser fanboy, but I think it's just a cool, rugged look. But obviously, you can choose. They've got all kinds of stuff Eureka flag, Australia flag, multi cam, but I'm not a complete lid, so I figure go with this. Alternatively, the white is pretty stylish and sort of suits that whole black and white look I'm going for with my car. So if I get sick of this, I'll get rid of it and keep the white. So first off, we've got this blank mode. This is designed to replicate the stock input of your accelerator. So stock standard or stock mode, whatever you want to call it. We've got a mode button and we've got a set button. Mode selects the mode. Eco, automatic, ultimate or stock. Set is the number. So the input going from lower number to higher number. So first off, we've got our eco mode up to nine. I'm assuming because it's ultimate nine, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not exactly 100% sure whether lower number represents a lesser eco, maybe a 
higher number represents a higher eco that sort of seems to make sense for me we then go to our ultimate se settings so we start at ultimate zero let's say more responsive throttle than the standard mode as we go up in numbers we have a more responsive throttle input so less lag more power nine and the higher numbers are extremely pokey so i wouldn't recommend for that peak hour traffic we then go to our automatic mode there's no but numbers here because automatic mode is a mode in and of itself it essentially adjusts how your vehicle performs based on your average throttle input so if you're planting it flat foot constantly it's going to go this guy wants more power or this girl wants more power or whatever so it's going to perform with a more responsive throttle if you are sort of feathering the throttle a little bit you're not driving as hard it's going to go okay a bit more economic driving um, style uh, less throttle input less pokey uh, if you're daily commuting or just sort of on the highway now first things first yes i have glasses what we're going to do now is we're going to take this triton for a quick drive and we're going to test out how this sort of controller feels um you're not be able to feel it but i will sort of explain to you what i'm feeling while i'm driving we'll test out some of the settings maybe the eco setting the ultimate setting the lowest and the highest and a bit of that sort of stuff let's do it all right ultimate zero so there's ultimate nothingness right let's do it that feels pretty standard Ultimate 5, let's try that, hey? Okay. I mean, it feels a bit pokier with the Ultimate 5 setting, which is sort of what I expected. Like, it feels kind of like 50% of low range. You know when you go in low range from drive higher and it feels really like oh and you just take a sec to adjust when you're in a manual this wouldn't be, the, be that much difference when you're in an auto we a bit of wheel spin there drove through some mud see that is a good sign drove through a little bit of mud coming through this car park and got some wheel spin all right so now we're going to try ultimate nine mode let's have a look oh Okay. Again, a bit more wheel spin, that's interesting. Um, only because my wheels are muddy, not because there's any actual crazy power coming out. Let's give it a bit of... Yeah, again, flicking mud everywhere, wheels spinning a little bit on the bitumen, which is very interesting. Oh, Jesus, okay. Again, very kind of like low range, throttle super like touchy and responsive. I'm really interested to try this out, right, in low range, in this mode. That'd just be like pure, just poke city. Let's have a look. Far out. I feel like I'm a learner driver. Do you ever find that it takes a while for your car to get out of full drive? I find that it's a bit funny. I've got to kind of roll back and forwards a bit. All right, so in Ultimate 9, let's take a quick boost up this hill here. First gear is quite touchy. Okay, interesting. It's very, very touchy. I wouldn't drive with this setting in like peak hour traffic when you're going to work, but if you're on a beach or like trying to go up a hill or an off-road obstacle, you've got that throttle response there. Now, if you're off-road, you're probably going to be in low range anyway. But to me, it feels like if you're off-road in, in four high you might not need to go into low range as much off the first drive i've had with this throttle controller i would say yes it works uh, the issue i was having was sort of turbo lag and rolling resistance trying to get up a steep paved hill with bigger wheels was difficult in addition to that driving on soft sand at a slow speed you know taking off was difficult because the wheels bogged down because of that resistance the turbo sort of starts to flutter and the vehicle stops with this, I noticed immediately, I tried a various settings because it's got a lot of modes. And throughout the ultimate settings, going from one up to nine, nine being the most responsive throttle, one being the lowest or zero being the lowest, I found that there was a difference. If you've ever driven a vehicle like, you know, a Toyota Fortuna, for example, a uh, you know Holden Commodore, a lot of these vehicles have sports modes or power modes, and as far as I understand, it's essentially just a form of throttle control. You've got an eco mode, a normal mode, a power mode, etc. This is very much the same situation. You're installing an aftermarket controller in a vehicle that didn't have one from factory. So 
We've got an eco mode all the way up to a number of numbers. We've got an ultimate mode which increases throttle responsiveness. And then we've got a stock standard mode and we've got an automatic mode. So it registers how you're driving and then adjusts your throttle response based on what you're driving. If you've constantly got your foot flat, it's gonna go, hang on a minute, you want response? All right, bang, crank it up. If you're driving very conservatively, it's just gonna let things sort of go down and not be as responsive. To give you a very basic explanation because I'm not an expert on these things, Modern vehicles use a drive-by wire system, so it is electronic. Your accelerator pedal is an electronic button, essentially, or a switch that you push your foot on and it sends signals up to the computer, whatever that's called, and it basically you know, accelerates or decelerates based on what, where your foot sat on the accelerator pedal. In the old days, we used to have a mechanical system, so it was an accelerator pedal with a steel cable going up to the throttle body. These days, that enables us to have stock standard um, you know, features in a vehicle, such as sports modes and that sort of stuff, and also install these throttle controllers. And that's it, guys. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and leave a subscription below, and we'll see you in the next one.